So we got more Pixel 4a rumors coming up. What's up Gadgeteers, my name is Hector and this is Gadgetbeard and on this channel I unbox and review everyday tech, gadgets and accessories for you and on today's video we have more rumors on the Pixel 4a. Now this is what we know so far, the Pixel 4a is going to have a 5.7 inch display, it's going to have a hole punch design, it's not going to have the forehead like on the Pixel 4a, but it's not going to have facial recognition and it's not going to have the Soli chip so it's not going to have none of those motion sensor gestures that we all love and know on the pixel 4. what so because it does not have facial recognition it is going to have a fingerprint sensor in the rear just like its uh, predecessor the 3a and it is going to have a single camera just like the 3a as well but it's going to be a little bit more of a pixel 4 design so it is going to adapt that square module looking kind of lens so it is going to be very similar to the pixel 4 uh, but it is just going to be a single lens and a flash in the rear now powering this device we do know that is probably going to rock the Snapdragon 730 with 4 gigs of RAM and about 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Now there's been also speculation saying there might be a 6 gig of RAM version with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Hopefully they do because I want that more RAM and the more storage. So that's what we know so far. but. Just a couple days ago, Android Police, citing the XDA developer website, just dropped a bomb on us saying that there is three different code names for the Pixel 4a. Now those code names are Sunfish, Redfin, and Bramble. Now Sunfish and Redfin were cited with Snapdragon 730s, which is pretty much what we predicted. Now the Snapdragon 730 processor is the predecessor to the Snapdragon 670 found in the Pixel 3a. Now what makes this story even juicier is what was cited with the codename Bramble Pixel 4a was the Snapdragon 65. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said Snapdragon 65 instead of Snapdragon 765. Yeah, I know. I fucked up. So, I'm going to say it one more time, but then I correct myself and I say Snapdragon 765. So, when I'm saying Snapdragon 65, just know that I meant, from the bottom of my heart, Snapdragon 765. Now for those that don't know is that Snapdragon 65 is Qualcomm's mid-tier 5G modem processor. So that means that if the Bramble coded Pixel 4a is released with the Snapdragon 65, that means that we're going to have a mid-tier 5G phone in the States. Now that is a big news for any consumer who's trying to get their feet wet in the 5G network, try to taste a little bit of the speeds that are offered by either, I don't know, it might it might be compatible with Verizon, it might be compatible with the low band 5G that T-Mobile has. But all we know for sure is that the Snapdragon 765 is a 5G compatible modem from Qualcomm. Now, let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys are interested in the Pixel 4a? Are you looking into picking one up if they release a 5G variant of the Pixel 4a? What are your thoughts? Now, one thing that it's a little bit funny is they're going to release a Pixel 4a 5G, but they didn't release a Pixel 4 5G variant, which is kind of funny. But if you're going to make a statement like they did last year in the mid-tier sector of the phone industry, releasing a 5G Pixel 4a makes great sense because it's going to be at a competitive price where you don't have to spend big bucks just to get a taste of 5G. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions regarding the Pixel 4a 
or any other rumors and thoughts that I miss or that you know, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.